So you did it correctly or wrongly that uh, your audio, you will, uh, I'll play an audio of the conversation. You need to figure out from the audio that you arranged it correctly or not. So here is the audio I'm playing. Swipe on to Axon, that is 2.18, 2.18, yeah, here. Done. Yeah, done. done, right? So I'm playing the audio. So now listen to the audio and see if you have correctly ordered the sentences order nicht here. <coughs> Frau Pohn, bitte. Guten Tag, Klimke. Guten Tag, Frau Dr. Klimke. Pohn. Was ist los, Frau Pohn? Ich hatte einen Unfall mit dem Fahrrad. Mein Knie tut weh. Legen Sie sich dahin, bitte. Tut das weh? Ja, ein bisschen. Aua. Ich muss die Wunde sauber machen. Dann mache ich einen Verband. Wann muss ich den Verband wechseln? Immer morgens und abends. Bewegen Sie das Bein nur wenig. Ich gebe Ihnen auch ein Rezept für eine Salbe. Dann gehe ich gleich zur Apotheke und hole die Salbe. Muss ich noch einmal zur Kontrolle kommen? Nein, aber bei Problemen kommen Sie bitte gleich. Auf Wiedersehen und gute Besserung. Vielen Dank. Auf Wiedersehen. Ja, yeah, so did you arrange it correctly? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. super. Now, uh, Let's understand what they both talked about. So yeah, was ist los, Frau Pohn? Uh, ich hatte einen Unfall mit dem Fahrrad. Mein Knie tut weh. Legen Sie sich dahin, bitte. Tut das weh. So what does it mean? Legen Sie sich dahin. Please lie down. Or... Yeah, right. It, it means to be, uh, please lie down. Uh, and then she asked, does it, does it hurt? So she says, yeah, 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 ein bisschen, aua. That's uh, aua is like uh, in German, when you are suffering uh, or when you are experiencing any sort of pain, then they normally, uh, they do it like this. Au, aua, ah, and ouch. Like they, there's a there's normal sound of, you know, people suffering in pain in German. So you have like, we say, ah, ouch. So they also have their own sound. So aua is one of them. Yeah. Then the doctor says, yeah, ich muss die Wunde sauber machen, dann mache ich einen Fairbahn. So what is this? What the doctor should do first? The doctor will first wash your foot and then wash your foot and then wash Yeah, uh, Wunde, Wunde is your uh, wound, die Wunde, richtig, uh, that is the wound. And sauber machen. Uh, sauber machen is a word that means and that means to clear, to clean. Yeah. Yes, uh, like you can say, ich uh, muss am um, um, Wochenende mein Zimmer sauber machen. So sauber machen is one verb that is used together as as well. That means I have to clean my room on weekends. So Zauber Makin, a very common verb. It means to clean something, right? So dan uh, Ferban, then I'll do the uh, bandage. So she says, one must ish den Ferban wechselna. What is that? One must ish den Ferban wechselna. Anybody who can understand the meaning of this? One more search then Fairban for Excel. No one. Um, she's asking what that, is asking that, uh -huh. that uh, when uh, when when do I when do I have to change the bandage? Excel means to change, right? When do I have to change the uh, Excel? To this, she answers, immer morgens und abends, that means always morning and evenings. Bewegen Sie das Bein nur wenig. What does this mean? 
the vacancy does by nu or vanish. If you remember, we did bind, bind is our leg. So, bevegan Z does bind to a vanish. What is bevegan? What could be bevegan? Bevegan is to move. So, she says, move your leg only a little bit. Vanish means little bit. Ich gebe Ihnen auch ein Rezept für eine Salbe. Yeah, I'm giving you one receipt. That is one prescription für eine Salbe. That is uh, the ointment. Then she says, dann gehe ich gleich zur Apotheke und hole die Salbe. Muss ich noch einmal zur Kontrolle kommen? What she wants to say in this line? Does she have to control it for some more time? Control it for some more time. Mm, no. It says she says that if you leave from the house, you leave from the after the class, I'll go straight to cook. So I would say, Nag de Monterish, you leave from the house to cook. Or you leave from the house to cook. You know, it was to cook. So, Gleich, Kaijana, Matlab, Turan, Tapiasa Nikolke, she would go to Apotheka, that is a, the, you know, what do you call that? Um, pharmacy. And Hola, Hola means I'll take the, or I'll, I'll, I'll uh, pick the Zalba, that is the ointment. Then she asks, Musish knock ein mal, kya mujhe ek or bar, controller common, Matlab, what that check up karwane, controller common. Sewer controller common means to come for checkup. Sewer controller common means to to come for checkup. So, can I have to come for checkup? Ke liye aana parega. She asks her. She asks her. Asks her doctor. To which the doctor replies, "Nein, no. Aber by problem and common sie bitte gleich ja. But with problem, if you have problems in your knee, then you can come gleich. Common sie gleich means you can come straight away to me when when you have problem." Auf, auf Wiedersehen und gute Besserung, ja. Gute Besserung, it means get well soon in German. Ja, gute Besserung. That means uh, get well soon. So this was the conversation between the doctor and the patient, that is Frau Pohn und Dr. Klimke. Yeah. Now, yeah. So, this is the question when you ho and your parents or your somebody asks you, Doctor, what did you say? Tell me. So, now you repeat the doctor's things. So, how do we do that? Okay? I mean, uh, the conversation which you had with your doctor, the with, which you had with your doctor, now somebody asks you to repeat that what happened, please tell me what the doctor said. So how you ex uh, how you explain or how you describe whatever doctor said or whatever the doctor said. So here, यहाँ पे पांच sentences हैं. तो out of the conversation जो हमने अभी पढ़ा, तो इसमें से doctor ने उसको क्या क्या करने बोला that you need to cross here. And हम doctor के sentences को किस वर्ड से यूज कर रहे हैं यहाँ पे अभी आप एक और एक नया मॉडल वर्ब पढ़ोगे जो अभी तक आपने नहीं पढ़ा है इट इज़ आल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ मॉडल वर्ब दैट इज़ जॉलन जॉलन मींस शुड या वी डिड डू दिस इन द लास्ट लाइक जब हमने मॉडल वर्ब्स करा था वी ओनली डिड क्यों एंड म्यूस एंड वॉलन I think Mostin as well, but we didn't do Zolan. So this chapter is about Zolan. And how do we use Zolan? So you can see these sentences. And you would tell me that out of these sentences, which are the sentences that that doctor told Frau Pohn to do actually. So uh, let me read and, uh, okay, let's do 